Okay, what's cooking guys? So today Bungie just did probably the two most unexpected things that you'd think they'd do. One of them is great, and one of them is absolutely terrible. Now today, Destiny 2 team over on Twitter made an announcement that specifically states, Exotic Class Item Achievement, Development Screen, Subject to Change, Pardon Our Dust, Expected to Launch with Episode 2, Stay Tuned, Bread. Now as we take a look at the new screenshot that they share, you can see that this screen looks a lot similar to the Onslaught Achievement, so one would think that this would work probably the same way, so you would attune a specific perk that you want to chase, and then you would have a higher chance of that perk dropping, probably being like Onslaught, which is currently 60%. It says only one perk may be attuned at a time, which still means you would have that big RNG of actually getting the drop that you want, but assuming this is applied to all sources of getting exotic class items, and not just dual destiny, this is a big W, and at least a great start. But what do you guys think of it? Next, Bungie announced that they're now updating their restrictions and ban policy to include AFK macro loot farming. I won't go into detail, but since we covered a lot of AFK farms on the channel in the past, this is something I want to make you guys aware of so that you don't get banned. So in short, stop using macros in Destiny 2 because you might get banned. They go on to state that the new policy doesn't apply to checkpoint bots, so you can freely use checkpoint bots or continue running them on those, and that the bans will be issued for future use, so you should be fine if you used it in the past. Although some people did get banned despite this, so just be aware of that, and avoid using macros at all costs if you're playing Destiny 2 and don't want to get banned. Big L, but Big W, makes it a 50-50. I don't know what to think. Chat soon.